What's up, Scorpio darlings? I'm Laurel. And welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read for me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaRoseMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature, baby. So, Scorpio, my love, let's see what's going down for the month of October. Spirit, you're welcome into this reading. Massage the cards for the gods. Okay. So, Scorpio, let's see what's going down with the magical messages from the fairies off top. What's going on with you? Your situation between them, okay? How they feel, what you don't see, their intentions, all that extra shit y'all know I add into every goddamn spread. So, here we go, baby. All right, off top, we have whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger and resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. So, Scorpio, someone is there that you need to forgive, okay? Could be seeing a shining light on what it is you do need to forgive and forget about, okay? Also, perfect timing. This is the right time for you to move forward. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see one more. We have be yourself. This situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis of your personal power. So, Scorpio, you already know how to be yourself. If not, you already know you that shining light, baby. Let's see what's going on, okay, between what's going on with you off top and then you and your partner. All right? Here we go. For the month of October, Spirit, give it to the Scorpio, baby. Here we go. Off top, I'm seeing that there could be, for some of you all, you're trying to combat this communication or a miscommunication possibly, um, but I'm definitely seeing here that there is some communication coming in for you, eight of wands, energy. You could be just trying to come into a more regal opportunity, okay, especially trying to get rid of things that you have to combat or things that you have to fight off with this seven of wands, okay, so I feel... Um, a lot of you guys off top, damn, the devil, baby, the ten of pentacles, the ten of swords. So I feel like there's a situation you're getting ready to end or there could be some sort of situation you're outweighing an end. With the devil energy here, it could be a toxic bond or a tie that you guys have with someone. Y'all are on the floor, honey. Could be with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um... For some of you guys, I'm really seeing here that there could be an end overall towards something that was very, very toxic. You're not really impressed with the situation. But with endings comes new beginnings, okay? Um, now, I do feel like you and your partner off top, somebody feels like they're doing it all. Okay, they're doing all the work, putting in all the work. Some of you all definitely could be dealing with a another Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Uh, a fire sign, possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I'm seeing someone thinks that you're not really equally giving in this situation. Or this could be, uh, you know, them, Scorpio, vice versa. But somebody is definitely playing a little trick here with this magician or somebody's on some tricky ass shit. You definitely could be dealing with an Aries, okay, with this magician. But I'm feeling like somebody thinks that you're not really giving in to a situation or you're not really wanting to give in um, to an equal opportunity. Definitely could be leaving a third party situation behind with three of wands. Also, page of swords, Scorpio. So for the month of October, I'm seeing you guys could be leaving a, situ a karmatic situation behind. Uh, it could be because of a third-party situation, also some news that you might receive, or could be dealing with that uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, but I definitely feel between you and your partner, could be dealing with a Gemini as well. There's a lot of struggles in their value ship, or they feel like it's too many people, too many conflicts, too many things going on. 
but I'm also seeing here overall, could be possible Taurus so far, Gemini, Capricorn. They are definitely holding on, but they want a new offer or there's going to be a new offer that's coming in between you two. Okay, somebody wants some sort of celebration. Could be a drinking celebration. Okay, for some of you guys, but I'm seeing here that there's uh, somebody who wants an opportunity. They could have been spying on you or you could have been spying on them. Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, also Nine of Cups. So I'm seeing here between you and this person, someone's wanting to get their way. Looks to me like they will with this Ten of Pentacles. Also, that spine could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody's definitely wanting a connection or some sort of union ship here, Scorpio, darlings. They want that soulmate shit, all right? So, let's see how they feel about you. High Priestess Energy off top. Tower, Ace of Swords, Page of Cups. So, Tower Energy coming in reverse. Ace of Swords coming in reverse. They feel like you're not really communicating, okay? They feel... Like, um, you know, some truths that you're not really, uh, you know, saying much about. You're keeping it a secret. There also could be um, some messages here with this page of cups with someone younger. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, they definitely feel like you're bringing on a lot of immature energy, but there's also some knowing that they know uh, about you. Could be a message of some sort. Um, but I'm feeling like they think you're definitely a player with this King of Wands energy. Uh, they feel like you, you know, you don't really care about if you're taking a loss or if you're going to keep on ticking is what I'm seeing here. They definitely view you as this person um, who's not really ready to commit with this Hierophant energy. So some of you guys could be dealing with somebody whose belief system is a little bit different. But with the Hierophant coming in reverse, I'm definitely seeing that they view you as somebody who's not willing to put in an all-the-way commitment. But they're also willing to draw forth some new movement with that chariot energy. So, Hierophant coming in reverse, chariot energy. They feel like there's someone who's definitely drawing forward or you could be drawing towards them. But they feel like it's a movement even though you can't commit, okay? Uh, but I do feel like you could be dealing with a Kansas and this person feels like you might be moving a little bit slow in the movement. So be aware of that. Nine of Pentacles. You could be dealing with two to three different energies here as well. All right. So let's see uh, their intentions. Someone's intention is to make you happy. You got the sun energy here. Okay, children could be involved, but they're wanting a lot of clarity is their intentions. They're wanting a lot of truths uh, to come out. They want a final decision. They feel like if you're not drawing for some action towards them, they're going to be in two minds about it. Okay, nine of uh, wands coming in reverse, also two of swords. Somebody could be fighting over someone or there could be somebody who's definitely fighting over two different things. All right, but I feel like this person is not really like, they're keeping, they're trying to keep their head out of the cloud. They're wanting a lot of clarity and honesty in their intentions. Could be a Pisces you're dealing with. A lot of major arcanas here so far, Scorpio. But I feel that there's definitely someone who might be having some regrets or some things in the past. Could be somebody that you've had a karmetic cycle with, with the Wheel of Fortune. So, Scorpio, I feel like there's definitely somebody who's going round and round and round about. Um, could be possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces energy here, um, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, all right, um, I feel in their intentions is that they're wanting an opportunity with you, a new beginning, they're wanting you to come back and forth, okay, to see them, to come say something to them, come visit them, come touch them, taste them, Scorpio, <laughs> So like I said in the um, 15th through the 30th, I remember you they, they wanted some clear communication, that back and forth communication. But with that Hierophant energy is looking to me like someone is afraid of the commitment. So with that being said, let's see who's lying. Someone definitely could be lying about a work situation, their happiness, Scorpio. 
But overall, I feel like someone is definitely not being honest about their independence um, or just gaining a peace of mind with how they feel about the situation overall. Definitely could be someone from your past, all right? I have here Cancer Pisces Scorpio for sure. Um, and I'm definitely seeing for some of you guys, you're kind of wanting to just constantly, they're kind of wanting to concentrate on work. Someone could be lying about their timing, okay? Making things come together with someone else off to the side. Possible Virgo Taurus, uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, okay? This person is trying to make things come together. They could be lying about, uh, you know, not really giving in quite yet to the passion or somebody's not really feeling the passion or they're getting bored is what I'm feeling, okay? King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Also, um, Six of Swords. So you definitely know that this person um, is lying about feeling stuck or feeling like they, you know, don't have something else somewhere else, all right? So be aware of that. They are definitely plotting and planning here to make a getaway. Um, let's see what you don't see. All right, so six of pentacle energy. Um, I'm seeing here three of pentacles coming in reverse. So someone is getting ready to make a build down. Could be with a possible love situation is what you don't see. Someone's trying to make a family situation work, okay? There also could be somebody in your family members or somebody who is definitely um, wanting you to share the love and share the wealth, but you also feel like there's some sort of action that you're not really ready for. It could be possible Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody is definitely moving very slow, trotting very slow because they could be staying up at nighttime. Okay, you could be having sleep apnea, all kinds of shit, all right? Um, but I feel for a lot of you Scorpios, there's definitely somebody that wants to make this come together. World energy could be somebody that is in the limelight, okay? Because there's a lot of people here, five of wands, six of... Uh, Wands coming in reverse, so definitely someone who could be jealous, jealous of a lot of people, a lot of struggles that are in your environment or whatever it is you, that you're dealing with so far. Um, but I'm definitely seeing here for the month of October, what you don't see is somebody wants to come, bring things into completion, but their insecurities are coming out and they're not able to really bring this uh, cycle all the way together. So it's kind of making them have mixed signals and be a little wishy-washy, all right? So... Let's see who's coming towards you. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Somebody's trying to balance two things here. Okay, also sun energy, Pisces as well. Like I said, it's two to three different energies up in this mix, up in the mix. Um, I'm seeing here with the Nine of Pentacles that there's definitely somebody who wants their independence or somebody who's wanting a peace of mind. Um, I feel like you're not really ready or not really wanting um, someone to bring you commitment if they're not really ready and available to you, okay? Now, I'm definitely seeing here for some of you guys, you're taking a break uh, from a situation, especially uh, due to someone who's making you feel like you're keeping uh, tabs on them or they're keeping tabs on you. Um, but I'm seeing here for some of you guys, what's coming towards you is uh, someone who wants to let a situation go uh, because, because they already know the truth. could be um, somebody who's a tarot reader, Somebody who's into tarot, but I'm definitely seeing for the month of October, someone is aware to their truths, okay? They're going into hermit mode um, because they see an awareness. It could be someone who's extremely wise that you're dealing with, someone who could be older as well, but this person feels like they're carrying a lot of weight or they're working extremely a lot, okay? Ten of Wands here. So let's see what's going on with my singles. What's going on with my singles? Oh, wait, before I forget the fucking romance angels in this bitch. Oh, shit, Scorpio. I was going to forget. I'm so sorry, baby. Okay, here we go. Romance angels. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Okay. So, that could be what that Ten of Cups is all about. You know, receiving your happiness. At your family, home, emotional happiness, stability, okay, and separation. So, um, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. That's what that probably that Ten of Swords is all about. Uh, and also reconciliation. So, someone could be in separate households, but they're also wanting to connect and come back and communicate. Definitely could be someone from your past for sure. But be aware of that deception. Somebody is wearing a false self mask as well, Scorpio. 
So, like I said, somebody could be lying about their job situation. They could be lying about having someone on the side. All right? So, be aware of that, baby. You know I'm probably going to make that a title. Let's see what's going on with my singles. All right, singles. Some of you guys are too hurt. There's too many things in the background. All right, you also have a decision to make with the Two of Swords energy here for my singles. Um, I feel like there's love that could be possibly coming in, but it could be just sexual here, sexual advances. It could be two to three different candidates that you're dealing with. Some of you guys are definitely not wanting to share, or there could be somebody who's wanting to share here. It could be player-like type of energy, also somebody who's kind of detached. Um, but like I said, it's three different energies, King of Swords, um, Queen of Wands. Okay, you guys might have a few people to choose from that could be detached, but they're just not really ready for all the way commitment. There could be someone who's spying on you as well, Scorpio, Page of Swords, Energy. They're just not really ready to talk, okay? Or they feel like they need to do a little bit more research before they come towards you. Um, but definitely somebody that you feel um, is watching you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also, uh, Aquarius for sure with this star energy, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could have this in your sun, moon, rising. But I'm definitely seeing here for some of you guys for the month of October, the singles, there is going to be somebody who has to let go. Okay, let the, go of that sexual energy that you could be holding on to in the past so you can have some new motherfuckers come in, baby. Okay, some new victims. <laughs> yes, honey, yes. Victims up in this bitch. So, let's see about possible outcomes. Possible outcomes, I feel like you guys are really trying to concentrate on love right now. I feel like there's definitely this vibe of somebody who is trying to rebuild, okay? Um, it also could be that you're taking things by the horns and wrapping them to make sure that you have a lot of strength coming through for you, okay? You could be dealing with a possible Leo, but I feel possible outcomes, you guys are really dealing with somebody who wants you to reach out, but they're also kind of getting bored. So be aware of that situation, all right? This person, you might be missing an opportunity or they might be missing an opportunity with you. Possible Aries energy here with this magician. Be aware of the tricky trickster shit. Definitely with a Gemini lover's energy here once again, Scorpio. So it's becoming the same thing. Somebody definitely could be lying and being dishonest about things coming into fruition around them with a possible Virgo Taurus Capricorn or communication with a possible Virgo Taurus Capricorn. But I feel like this is definitely talking about your children or someone's children or child that they're taking care of. Four of Wands, okay? Getting your structure back is what I'm seeing here. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles up in this bitch. So yes, possible outcomes is something very promising, all right? So let's see um, if you're dealing with a water sign. If you're dealing with a water sign, I feel like somebody is afraid to break communication, but there's definitely some sort of karmatic cycle that is starting to come to a close. You have the Wheel of Fortune energy, also uh, the Nine of Spears, okay, and um, the Eight of Wands coming in reverse. Someone is afraid to bank and break communication. Um, I'm seeing here that they're going through a lot, or you could be going through a lot. It definitely could be a sexual vibe here, Scorpio, if you're dealing with um, that person, or they're trying to get away from the toxic ties, but they're also wanting some sort of love opportunity if you're dealing with a water sign, okay? If you're dealing with a fire sign, someone feels like they already know the truth. you got the high priestess here, also ten of uh, cups, so somebody knows the truth about a family situation, about a new foundation, a start or an end, okay? However the case may be, but I definitely feel like they already know that they're breaking away from this. They're wanting some sort of independence. Nine of uh, Cups and also the Emperor energy here. Okay, so if you're dealing with a fire sign, they want to break away. They want their independence. And they're definitely all the way aware towards a family situation, Scorpio. Um, if you are dealing with an air sign, I feel like they're wanting to detach. They could be kind of like breaking free from trying to move forward. Uh, they also have made a final decision. It could be that they're no longer happy anymore with this Nine of Cups coming in reverse. But they're also really kind of ready just to just send some lighthearted messages. Um, but I feel like somebody is definitely trying to outweigh two different things with that Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy, okay? So be aware of that shit. So let's see with the Earth sign. If you're dealing with an Earth sign, I feel somebody feels they're missing out on an opportunity or someone who's willing to give to a situation possible. Uh, 
non-emotional motherfucker. They're not really ready for a friendship as well. If you're dealing with an earth sign, they also have a lot of insecurities towards the situation. Okay. Or somebody is really just kind of not impressed with trying to press forward. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. I love you. If you need a personal read for me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, theroseroom.com. Any other personal magic and deviation walk and things of that nature. All right, Scorpio, I'll see you later. Oh, bottom of the deck, full energy. So somebody wants a new beginning. All right, my loves, this could be you. Peace.